Uh, oh, wow. Elephants. We have come to elephants, haven't we? Some of the mightiest animals on land today. But they went through a long history in prehistory. Their history is full of wacky, bizarre creatures. And you might think that they all look pretty similar. But they weren't. What is going on, guys? It's Gus here. Oh, my finger was in the shot. Oh, my God. And today we're talking about wacky elephants. And right now we're talking about Platybelodon. I have pencils on different pages of this book to help me flip through. So that, you know, to help me out. And today we're going to be talking about the top three weirdest and most bizarre elephants to come across land, in my opinion. Here is the Platybelodon. He had this giant tusk that went over these two giant buck looking teeth and these small looking tusks to scoop up roots and other plants from the ground. They were about the size of an average Asian elephant, as you can see here. And they lived worldwide. Platybelodon was one of the most weirdest and bizarre of the elephants. But this is just the beginning. Let's move on to some more, shall we? Why, let's, shall, Arsinoetherium. Now, for starters, you might think that this is a relative to the rhinoceros. And it lived as an amphibious lifestyle in mangrove swamps. So you would figure that might be related to hippos. No, this is a very primitive elephant. Reason being is this drawing is a little outdated. But there was like a tusk, a little tiny tusk right here. And some of the way the bone structure was that confirmed that this is a relative to the elephants. This lived in where Egypt is. And back then there used to be a giant sea next to there called the Tethyus Sea. And where Egypt is now, there were huge mangrove swamps because of this giant sea is just right next to it. This thing's about as big as a rhinoceros is. And it sure uses its two horns to defend itself, I'll tell you that. It lived most most of its life amphibious, swimming in the water with its huge legs, eating watercress and other water plants off the bottom with its huge mouth. Now, since there's not really much else to talk about, about Arsinoetherium, let's move on to our last one. This is Embellidon. Embellidon was about the size of an African elephant. And he lived in, from North America to China to North Africa. These guys had very similar body structures to Platybelodon. But except its buck teeth are way off. Almost as long as a man's leg. He still had two short tusks. They ate small trees off the ground using their giant tusks. And all of these elephant species probably didn't have any predators unless they were young. Because by the time they were this big, they had no natural predators. Sabertooth cats might get to them while they're young. But when they're bigger, when they're as big as this to where they can eat trees, then they should be good. Umbelidon is a very uh, cool elephant. You'd be surprised. There's only about three species of elephants alive today. And they're all endangered. There's the African elephant that lives in Africa. The Indian elephant that's spread across um, South Southeast Asia. And there's this dwarf elephant, I think. And there's a, like less than a thousand, um, a la less than a thousand of them. I think. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. Anyways... But elephants were extremely common millions of years ago, like in Bellydon right here. And it's funny looking at these prehistoric elephants with some that don't even look like elephants, like Arsinoetherium. But we can if you want to. Do y'all want to have a woolly mammoth? I don't want to do it, but for you guys, why not? I haven't bookmarked the page where the woolly mammoth is on it. So I have to go on a manhunt just for you guys. Isn't that sweet of me? The thing that I do for you people, let's move on. Whoa. 
Here's the fossil of one of the largest elephant species ever to live, the woolly mammoth, with tusks longer than a man's body and a thick covering of woolly fur, the woolly mammoth was an exceptional beast. This animal lived in Alaska, Russia, and many different countries in Europe like France and Germany. These animals were, did not have any natural predators when they grew up except for an exception. Humans. Humans are the root of all evil in the natural world, one could say. They killed off a good majority of our extinct animals that we come to love and know. These animals were about 16 foot high at the shoulder, about twice the size of an average African elephant. This thick brown fur covered its whole body to keep itself warm during the ice age that it lived in. Anyways, woolly mammoths are actually planning to be resurrected, which I'm very happy about. I really want to see a woolly mammoth in real life. That would be so cool. We need an um, African elephant donor though. So it'd be like an African elephant, but like covered in brown fur and maybe some longer tusks. Anyways, this is where I'm going to end the video. Most elephants, except for the woolly mammoth, mainly died from climate change and disease. So I hope you guys like my video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.